welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Trader Joe's holiday haul. This time I picked up a few fabulous little gift ideas, stocking stuffer ideas, a few WW friendly sweet treat options for the holidays at Trader Joe's and as well as just some other fun holiday things that come out once a year at your local Trader Joe's plus a little bit of an unboxing or unbagging of sorts. So definitely stay tuned till the end of the video to see that. So if you want to see some of the new things at Trader Joe's for the holidays, just keep watching. So I'm incredibly excited to bring you another holiday Trader Joe's haul. Now this one is a little bit more WW friendly and I'm also going to be showing you some fun little gift ideas that you can throw in stockings or if you're just looking for a small but awesome gift for somebody. Trader Joe's has a couple of fun things that I wanna share with you. So let's jump right into another Trader Joe's holiday haul. So the first thing are these mystery packs and this has three different Trader Joe's reusable bags from different states. I, a lot of people travel the US and collect the Trader Joe's bags. I know for myself, I picked one up when I was in Vegas so that I had a Vegas one. And this is going to come with three bags from three different states in them. It is a super fun gift idea. It is great to give to somebody that loves Trader Joe's or loves reusable bags. And again, you can't beat three bags, three different states that you would never get unless you travel to that state. It comes in this cute little kind of brown paper bag type material with a cute little handle, $2.99. So basically 99 cents, a reusable bag. And I went ahead and picked up two, one for myself and then one as a gift. So we are gonna unbox this or unwrap this or unbag this at the end of the video so you can see what three bags from the three states that I got in my pack. But what a great, inexpensive, but fun and unique gift idea. So really excited about that. And she did say that these do not last very long. She was actually surprised they still had them when I went today. So I recommend picking these up as soon as possible. Also, Trader Joe's came out with a candle tin trio this year, which I was really excited about. So these are a little bit smaller candles. And the first one is the cedar, or I'm sorry, the cranberry and pine the fresh currant and nutmeg yum how fun for the holiday so you could give this whole little trio pack to somebody or you could break these up as fun little stocking stuffers now they are smaller than the traditional candle i will show you the size comparison but first let me show you the other candle so i was excited this is the full size candle and this is in cedar and balsam this smells like a pine tree so if you are somebody who has an artificial christmas tree but you love the smell of a real christmas tree just not the hassle of it this is a great alternative and this is one of the trader joe's full size candles it was 399 and then this cute little trio pack was $7.99. So let me pull one of these out and show you the comparison of the size of it versus the full size candle. So here is your size difference. So this here is the full size $3.99 candle. And then this is the size of the one that comes in the three pack. So, I mean, it's definitely smaller in size, but you get three of them for $7.99. So I still think it's a great idea. And like I said, you could break these up into three individual gifts, or you could give them all in the cute little box to somebody as a gift. So I think it's awesome. Also, I saw the Trader Joe's peppermint foaming hand soap so i definitely had to get this i'm going to throw this in my kitchen how cute is this container this would also be a great gift to throw in a gift basket for someone who likes those traditional christmas type of scents of soap so i thought that this was absolutely adorable so i had to pick that up as well so there's a few little trader joe's gift ideas for you stocking stuffers fun little inexpensive gifts super cute super trendy and different from Trader Joe's. So that is the gift portion of my haul. Now let's get into the food. Let's get into the good stuff. So the first thing I found, this is brand new. This is the Over the River and Through the Wood Trek Mix. And look at this, yum. So this is a holiday festive trail mix. So it says a tantalizing festive mix of roasted salted almonds, sweetened dried cranberries, pumpkin pie, spice pecans, yum. Roasted salted pepitas roasted salted pistachios and white and dark chocolate covered pretzels 
Okay, that sounds absolutely delicious. So you can definitely work this into your plan. Here's the nutritional information for a quarter of a cup. So I'm gonna put the points on the screen for a serving and then I'm gonna knock it down a little bit and give you the points for that as well. But this would be a really good snack. It is, it is a sweet treat, but it also has the protein and a good fat for you of the nuts. So super cute, love the packaging, would be a great gift or thrown in a gift basket as well. And again, that's the Over the River and Through the Wood Trex Mix. And then this is new to Trader Joe's this year as well. These are their peppermint mini marshmallows. And I thought, how cute would these be as cookie decorations in hot cocoa, even in your coffee? Yum. So I had to pick these up. They are 100 calories for one third of a cup. So again, points on the screen for one third of a cup as well as a reduced serving. And what's great about Trader Joe's marshmallows is they are gluten-free and vegan. So anyone who does not eat any animal product can have these. Most marshmallows have beef gelatin in them, but Trader Joe's are vegan and gluten-free. So peppermint mini marshmallows, how fun for the holidays. Now this might be a little bit more challenging on the WW friendly scale, but you know we can eat whatever we want if we work it into our points. So this is the Trader Joe's Jingle Jangle, and this is a fun mix of fan favorite candy treats. It comes in this absolutely adorable tin, and here is what is in here. Milk chocolate candies, dark chocolate enrobed chocolate vanilla Jojo cookies, oh my goodness, milk and dark chocolate mini peanut butter cups. How yummy is that? And it says we all have chocolate that jingle jangle jingles well when you shake the tin anyway. That's a party. One bite size, dark chocolate covered, salty sweets inside every tin. Gather your friends, satisfy your chocolate cravings, and give it a jingle jangle. So this is basically what is in the tin. So fun. Oh, I'm, oh, I missed some. Hang on, guys. Let's go back. Let's go back. So we also have milk and dark chocolate covered pretzels and dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn. So there is quite a bit in this tin. Now, again, you can work this into your day if you just lower the portion size or add a full portion size into your day. I'm going to use this for Christmas. Put it on the counter with all the other Christmas goodies because I don't generally track Christmas. So it gives me a chance to kind of try all this fun stuff from Trader Joe's. Also, I picked these up and I'm going to be putting these on everyone's plates for Christmas or I might use these to garnish platters of crackers or cookies. I thought these were adorable. This is the Trader Joe's festive collection of chocolates. Little gingerbread and snowman and snowflakes. And it says with dark milk and white chocolates in assorted holiday shapes. So two pieces is 150 calories. I just thought it was so cute. I thought putting them as a garnishment on a platter would be adorable. Even a meat and cheese platter, if you kind of pop this in the middle or off to the side, I thought these were super cute. I had to get them. And then I found these rolls and we're actually gonna use these for Thanksgiving and if we like them, we'll repurchase for thanks or for Christmas. But this is the holiday herb roll. So it says soft, savory, pull apart rolls with sage, marjoram, thyme, parsley, and rosemary. And look at how good these look with all of those spices. So we're gonna try these on Thanksgiving and again, if if we like them, we're gonna work them into our Christmas dinner as well. But these look really good, they smell amazing. So I picked those up. I'll definitely let you guys know how these are. And if you've tried these, leave it down in the comments below. And you remember these from last year. I'm literally obsessed with these. I love these. I think I bought at least half a dozen boxes last year. These are the Trader Joe's Gingerbread Crisps. So it says a crisp, savory and sweet cracker with a hint of crystallized ginger and spices to complement cheese spreads, dips, and toppings. I ate these by themselves. I love these, and these are WW friendly. If you love ginger or gingerbread, you will love these. So these crisps, you can have one serving, which is three crisps for 40 calories. So not bad at all. They just kind of give you that Christmas vibe with the gingerbread. Love these. So I'm sure I'll be repurchasing these before they are gone for the season. Also fresh cranberries. Trader Joe's has a great price on your traditional fresh cranberries. I'm going to be making a dessert for Christmas with these. So you can pick these up for Thanksgiving. You can pick these up for Christmas, whatever you prefer. But I had to grab these fresh cranberries. And same with the Trader Joe's cranberry sauce. Yum. This is also for the holidays. This is already pre-made cranberry sauce. You can't beat it. 
here is your nutritional information. And again, it's for the holidays. I like it on my turkey. I love cranberry sauce. I even like it on ham. If you haven't tried that, give it a try. It is delicious. So a couple of fun Trader Joe's cranberry options. Also, this was the last box on the shelf and the girl at the checkout was surprised I even got this because she said they can barely get it out of the case if there's any left after all of the pre-orders. It is so popular. And this is the Trader Joe's Chocolate Peppermint Loaf and Baking Mix. And did you see this? Makes great cookies too. So this is everything that you need to make this delicious bread. You could make these into cupcakes, mini cupcakes, cookies. Uh, yum, it sounds absolutely amazing and all you need to add and see there's your peppermint loaf recipe but all you need to add to this i believe is just some oil and some eggs so it makes it like super super easy had to grab it gonna use it for christmas now these you can definitely work into your plan i love peppermint as you know so i picked up two of them and this is the mini peppermint meringues so for these you guys these are definitely ww friendly so you can have 11 of these for 80 calories i'll put the points on the screen for 11 and then i'll knock it down a little bit so that you can see some other options but these are super cute. These are delicious. They have little bits of candy canes on them. What a great sweet treat that is within your points, but also gives you the feeling that you're indulging in something Christmassy with that peppermint. So picked up two of those. I will probably get more before the season is over because I love meringues. They're so low points and they just really cure that little bit of sweet craving. Also, Trader Joe's has a light eggnog. So I did open this and try this. This is really good. It looks a little different than your traditional eggnog. Do you see how it's just a little bit more yellowy? But it is really, really good. I put some in my coffee. I couldn't tell much of a difference between regular eggnog and it is far less smart points, far less. So if you are an eggnog lover, this is a good alternative. I know that there are some almond nogs and almond milk type of eggnogs out there as well. Silk makes one and I think Almond Breeze makes one. So lots of options, but I wanted to try the Trader Joe's one because there's nothing artificial in here, no artificial flavors. So really excited about that. It does say there, if you can see that it has 90% less fat and 40% fewer calories than regular eggnog. And again, I thought it tasted really, really good. And lastly, I couldn't pass these up. These are the mini gingerbread men. Can you see how yummy these look? They're little gingerbread men that are frosted with white fudge. Uh, yes, please. These are a little higher in points, but again, if you lower your portion size, you can work these into your day. And I love gingerbread cookies. So I thought these would be fun to put out on a cookie platter. You could even add these to a tin if you're putting together a cookie tin or a snack tin. They're really cute. And again, you can simply work these into your day by just cutting down your portion. So so that's everything for the second holiday haul from Trader Joe's. Of course, if they bring in a bunch of other new products, I'll haul those as well for you guys. But head on over to your local Trader Joe's and pick up these holiday goodies before they're gone. As promised, here are the three bags that I received in the mystery. So I just want to show you the back. It says within this pack are three different reusable shopping bags that may come from different areas around the country or specialty bags only available in this pack which bags it's a mystery and then up here it's really cute it says excuse us no peeking so again super super fun gift so here are the bags that i received this is so cute so this is from the state of kentucky the bluegrass state so she's playing her little fiddle there with a bird so this is really cute and then the other side is really cute too it says off to the races can i get a mint julep please and it is a horse with this really cute lady the next one is from the state of Chicago, and it says the city of Chicago Trader Joe's. This is really, really cute. And then on this side, oh, I love that. It says Trader Joe's Chicago, your neighborhood grocery store. So I love that. And the last bag is from Missouri. This is so cute with the dancers. Where did you go to high school? And I wanted to show you guys too, on the bottom of this bag, there is a recipe for vanilla bean gooey butter cake. How fun. And then the other side of the Missouri bag, this is really cute. It has a guy playing the guitar with this ornate coloring. I love it. So while we're here, let's peek at the bottom. Oh, so this one, here's the bottom of that bag. So that one had a recipe. Oh, this is cute. It has a barrel with Trader Joe's. So super cute, you guys. Great gift idea, $3.00 pick up those Trader Joe's bags that you just really can't get anywhere else. Thank you for joining me for another Trader Joe's holiday haul. I hope you got some great gift ideas and some fun 
festive holiday food ideas as well. Definitely pick up the mystery bags of bags. They're great gifts. They're great to have on hand. I ended up just tossing some of my old kind of tattered reusable bags and backfilled them with these fun Trader Joe's ones from different states. Such a fun idea because you really can't get those unless you go to the state. So love that Trader Joe's has those in stock, at least for now. Pick up these holiday things before they are gone. They definitely won't last very long. If you're new, I'd love to welcome you to my YouTube friends and family. Hit that little subscribe button and that bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Check out the description box for tons of links and discount codes and some of my favorite favorite things on WW. Also make sure you are part of my Facebook group. It is such a great group of ladies and men. We have 11,000 members, positive, supportive, just a really fun group to be in. So definitely check that out. It is here on the screen and the link to the website or the group is right in the description box below. Thumbs up this video if you love Trader Joe's hauls and the holidays. And of course, comment down below and let me know what are your top two favorite things that I hauled. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Happy holidays.